Today we're going to be cooking a typical Swedish dish. It's actually part of what we in Sweden call husmanskost. Husmanskost means uh, something you would cook and eat for Monday to Friday that's inexpensive, nutritious and easy to make. Sounds good in my book. So let me show you this particular one which is called kål pudding or cabbage casserole. It's essentially a cabbage casserole with ground beef and ground pork in it and it's very easy to make super delicious and easy on your wallet as well. All right, let's get going. So this particular recipe requires a pound of ground beef and half a pound of ground pork. You can definitely use all ground beef if you prefer, not a problem. We're gonna be using a little bit of cream. Doesn't really matter if you use chicken or beef um, for the flavor, but I'm gonna use chicken, you need an egg. And then we need a small head of cabbage. Uh, this is fairly large, so might not use all of it. A small yellow onion. Traditionally this dish has cooked rice in it. Instead of rice we're going to be using some small curd cottage cheese. You want to get the one with the highest fat content you can find. Here in the United States that's usually the 4%. And we're going to use some butter and salt and pepper. So together after cooking in the oven you're going to use some of the liquid from the casserole along with some cream, soy sauce or tamari salt and pepper to make a gravy and that's it. You want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees or 175 degrees Fahrenheit. After turning your oven on to preheat you want to cut up your green cabbage. Uh, I like to do it in a food processor, it's super easy. Less mess, done. So go ahead and cut up your cabbage whichever way you like to do it as well as finely chop your onion. Then in a pan with about a tablespoon of butter, you want to add your chopped up onion as well as your cabbage. And you want to keep stirring and cooking it until it's all softened. While the cabbage and onions are cooking, you want to add your one and a half pounds of meat to a bowl. Your one egg. Half a cup of heavy whipping cream. 200 grams of cottage cheese. Half a cup of broth, you can use chicken or beef, and you want to add a generous amount of ground black pepper. After you mix all the meat ingredients together, you want to go ahead and add half of your cabbage mixture to the meat. Then mix half the cabbage with the meat mixture really well. When everything is mixed well together, you want to put it in a casserole pan. After you spread out your meat mixture really well in the casserole, you want to put the rest of the cabbage mixture on top. Then over your casserole you want to add another half a cup of cream evenly all over. Then you want to put the casserole in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. I just took the casserole out of the oven. It has a lot of excess liquid that we want to use to make a nice gravy. Uh, so pour off about a cup or a little bit less of the liquid. To make a very quick gravy, take your one cup of liquid from the casserole, mix it with a couple of tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and a couple splashes of soy sauce or tamari in my case, and you want to let it reach a boil. You can also use a little bit of centum gum to thicken it further. I like to put centum gum in a salt shaker like this, that way you can easily Add it to your gravy without having big clumps. And then you just want to go ahead and let it reach a boil. And then you want to do a taste test to see if it needs anything. You can add a little pepper, salt, whatever you feel like it needs. Traditionally Swedish cold pudding or cabbage casserole is served with boiled potatoes and gravy. And we also like to have it with some lingonberries on the side. Lingonberry preserve that you can buy here in the United States is very full of sugar, so I don't recommend that. But something that's very similar to lingonberries, if you want to have the authentic taste, is cranberry sauce. And you can sometimes find sugar-free cranberry sauce. Since this has a cabbage in it, it doesn't really need anything on the side. Just some gravy and you're good to go.